Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to make 100% bacon sausage. I'm going to use two pounds original sliced bacon, 100% hardwood smoked. Kunzler. Another great food item from Pennsylvania. Lancaster, PA. Pennsylvania Dutch country. Alright. This is my home geek meat grinder. Pretty new. Remember I had it a couple weeks and I've been having fun experimenting with it? Well, this is going to be the ultimate for me. <laughs> I have a package of backwood smoke casings. The last time I didn't wet them or soak them. This time I might because I'm still learning. It comes like that. Got my sausage tip. I got spices, sausage spices that came with it. Now this pack is measured out for five pounds, but I went with the instructions and I made it for two pounds. Okay, that's two ounces of water, two and a quarter teaspoons of seasoning, and one ounce of water for each pound of meat. So that's what I ended up with. I'm gonna give it that little sausage kick. Like we need any kick when it's 100% bacon. Okay, first I'm gonna grind them up. Grind up my two pounds of sausage into the bowl. Then I'm gonna put my sausage adapter on and slide the casings on. And away we go. I dreamed about this one. You know that. I opened my two pounds of bacon. I'm gonna put most of it up here in the feeding tray. I have my medium size grinding plate on there. You know this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna have greasy fingers. Start grinding. You ready? The ultimate. Everything keeps getting better. Man, bologna sandwiches. Oh yeah, no bologna today, sorry. Bologna sandwiches, pizza mukbangs, you name it, we got it. I'm gonna start this grinder up right now. Here we go. stuff right in there and it go a long ways like that oh. feed them in like this long ways like I did with those strips of pork the other day it just feeds itself in isn't that nice that's it or leaving needs this at all There we have two pounds of bacon. Like I said about the casing last time, I didn't soak them or wet them. This time I will because I know it's going to go over the, the tube a lot easier. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. So I'm going to take maybe, I don't know, three feet, if that will fit on. Tie up the end. If I have any left, I'm going to make some bacon patties. They're going to be some good sandwiches, aren't they? All right, let me, let me wash with my hands first. Washed and dried 
So I get a grip on things here. Let me open these casings from Backwoods. Let's see. That's tied from the factory there. Let me see. One, two, that's about three feet, I think. Anyway, it's going to be enough baking sausage. <laughs> I hope it fits on the tube there. Cut that in. Let's just get them wet. Well, let's first put this tip on here. Turn, unplug it. I don't have to clean it right now. And it's easy cleanup too. This comes apart real easy. All the parts inside cleans up real good. See that? This is gonna be delicious. Let me get another big plate out here. Soak our casing a little bit in water. A little more flexible. I'm doing this alone this time. It's always better when you have help. But when you're hungry and all you got is two pounds of bacon and a sausage maker, you make do with what you got. I'm also going to lubricate this tube a little bit with some bacon grease. That's going to help. <laughs> Organic. Okay, put your casing on. Slide it up. All the way up, yeah, that bacon grease helps in there. If I don't get my whole length out of here, it's okay. I'm gonna add some good sausages. Don't worry about it. Hmm, all right, I'm not getting that much on there. Let's hold my hands, man, hands are too wet now. All right, we're gonna start with that length. I don't mind if you don't mind. I'm gonna tie it up. We're gonna have a couple, couple sections of 100% bacon sausage here. Tying a knot. There's my knot. First time. Loaded in the top. Everybody, right here. You can see good. Plug this in. And let's see. Load up the top. Okay. You made a mess. Just a little mess. What do you expect? <laughs> Gonna love it. Here we go. Keep your eye on that tube. Gonna fill up my reservoir. That meat's going quicker than I thought. Two pounds. How long is it going to be for two pounds? <laughs> Might not be three feet. Who knows? It's okay. And if it's one foot, it's going to be perfect. Bacon sausage. I was so excited I forgot my seasoning. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it back in the bowl and put a little bit of seasoning. So the second half is gonna be more seasoned. That's okay. Ah! These things happen when you get excited. <laughs> I noticed there was no flavoring coming out of there. <laughs> I noticed there's no spices coming out of there. Bear with me. So, I'm gonna end this one right here. How's that? 
No seasoning in there. Look at that beautiful bacon sausage, 100%. Okay. Let me tie that off and chill that for a few minutes till the next one's ready. That's okay. My second one is going to have spices in it. I believe this is going to be a shorter one. Maybe. I poke a little hole in there for a little, little vent. Of course I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> but I like it. Ooh, squeal. Here we go. Spicy this time. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna twist that off there. I'm gonna twist that off there. I have a little bit left. Oh boy though. Look at that. Mmm. Tie that up, chill it, clean up this mess a little bit. I'm gonna eat it. Let's see what else we can get out of here. With no casings. It's okay, right? You don't mind. Okay, I'm going to save that, and I could use that for pizza toppings or whatever I want. Let me give that a whiff. Oh, it's bacon. It's bacon. <laughs> it's bacon sausage. It's all cleaned up already. See, I should have showed you how easy it is to clean. But I'll tell you, it's less than six or seven minutes. Completely clean. Comes apart. Hot water, soap. Washcloth, perfectly clean. I should have showed you that. Anyway, take my word for it. Home geek, we love it. Let's get over there and cook up them bacon sausages. What do you think about that? Look at this. This is the one without the seasoning. This is the one with the seasoning. But I don't want that much right now. Hmm. I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna get a sandwich out of it. Might end up cutting it. Let's see. Don't need no grease in the pan. Do I? I'm gonna use this tall pan so keep the splatter in a minimum. It is bacon, you know. I'm gonna go low and slow. Okay. I'll pack this up and have it for something good. That's gonna be good. Imagine sliced in spaghetti or anything like that, right? More sandwiches. I'm gonna have this with pizza. Sprinkle that on top. Mm hmm. Alright, let's give this a few minutes to start percolating there. I'll pack this up. I'm gonna poke a couple toothpick holes in the casing. Okay. Oh, you know why. Coming over? Well, gone. But do you know why I'm going low and slow with this? Because we know the outside of the bacon will crunch up quick, but we want to make sure the inside is cooked. Mm, that's a nice sausage, isn't it? I don't even mind if that casing breaks, which it might, but maybe not. That smells so good. You know what it smells like? Keep the lid on. Mm. 
smells good. So I looked in here a few minutes ago and the casing was starting to come off. So I just popped it off and cut it to the size of my sandwich maybe. That's gonna be so good. I don't mind the casing coming off. Remember, this is only the second time I made sausage, so I'm still learning. I wanna crunch that up somewhat. I don't even care if it gets real brown and crunchy, do I? I believe they could be done. Look. Oh, I have a roll. I was gonna put sauce on the bottom. I have special sauce made up here, but you know what? Should I or not? I don't think so, you know what? <laughs> I would enjoy that bacon. And I wouldn't put sauce on bacon, would I? Unless it was on pizza or something, I guess, yeah. So I'm gonna put cheese down on my roll. On the bottom. And let's see if I can get these both in there. Oh, look at it. One. Sure can. You know what's going on top? More cheese. <laughs> Let that sit there a couple minutes. Okay. Woo! Here it is. Oh, I'm going to cut a piece of that with a fork here. Just to see what it's like inside. And straighten my sandwich out a little better. It's hot and delicious. It's more a treat. Mm. Remember, this is only the second time I ever made sausage with casings. And I'm not disappointed. When I make sausage or when I buy sausage, I like cutting the casings off anyway. And it all stays together. But I love this. One more look. <laughs> Try it. Mm. Remember, this is the piece that didn't have the sausage seasoning in it. The other half, remember, I forgot to put it in. But anyway, this is so delicious. It's salty and smoky and crunchy. Like bacon, but not thin, crunchy bacon strips like we're used to having. It's 100% bacon sausage. Try it. I know you'll like it if you like bacon. Mm. I'm glad I didn't put any sauce on it. It's perfect. This goes good with it too. <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping to watch this. If you have a meat grinder or get yourself a Home Geek meat grinder, can you see it here? It works great. I'm gonna finish eating this for breakfast. What time is it? 9.06 a.m. Well, that's a good time for bacon, ain't it? All right, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Have a great day. Please subscribe. Mm. Woo!